This is Twit. So um, calls have been pouring in. Yes. We've got a traveler, David in Anaheim. He's trying to use his Google Maps on his trips, and it's trying to take him one route, and he doesn't want to go that way. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Yeah, he's like, they're yeah. trying to take him the fastest way. He wants to go the scenic way. I he want the scenic to, route, yeah, he says. he wants to see if he can bypass that. All right. Can you help him? Yeah, well, I don't know. Line four. I'll try. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kim. To line four we go. David in Anaheim. Hi, David. Hey, Leo. <laughs> hey, yeah. Uh, been having a problem. I just want to take the scenic route like you were just yeah, talking about it. Funny. I even went to Verizon. They couldn't help me out. Well, I, there I, are settings instance, in Google Maps that say uh, avoid highways. That might start. That might be a good start. Okay. Uh, but my first example would be I, I just want to go to Portland to visit my brother. I live in Anaheim. And I want to go via the 101. Now, there's alternate. There's a thing for alternate routes, but it's always like these obscure Highway 58 I see. or you Highway do want, You do want to go on the highway, but you just want to yeah, go... So, you don't want to go 5, which is the fastest. You right. you would now, like on to... My, on my desktop, I can do that by... You just bring it up and you drag the highway. Right. You put your cursor on the highway and drag it over, but there's right. no ability on your phone to do that. And I, I want to take advantage of the real time and the traffic on my phone. And I'm wondering if you have any uh, any an cure for this. Interesting. I'm looking at root options. <laughs> uh, best. See, this is where you turn off. You know, you could say fewer transfers, less walking. Uh, oh, I'm actually in the walking mode. Let me go to the car mode. That'll give me car options. I don't see anywhere though that it says take highway 101. Only avoid highways, avoid tolls, avoid ferries. Um, that's the customization. I guess what you because you think the alternate the alternate routes would include Highway 101 because that's a pretty major highway. Yeah, just like the five. Yeah, but it does not. Yeah, in fact, I'm looking at how I would drive down to Anaheim from here, and of course, I have to get on 101 to start, but then it immediately takes me all the way over to five and the, for the rest of the way. That is the fastest route. So yeah, I wonder if there's a down. way to tell it. You should be able to, yeah. So on the, so that's interesting. So you can on the, on the on the driving directions on the desktop, you can drag the blue direction over somewhere else, and it'll snap into place, saying, "Oh, yeah, you could go this people, way." People suggest that I just get myself to Highway 101, and then it'll it'll. Well, that's uh, what I always do. The, but what happens <laughs> is you go to Highway 101, and it wants to take you to the fast. Take you route, back. back to the five. Oh, that stinks. It, it won't. It won't allow you to keep on the on 101. Right. Uh, I, at some point, it will. You know, it's it's going to continue to do the calculation, and when it's no it longer faster, <laughs> it will give up. But that's not a good solution, is it? Hmm. Now I'm intrigued. I don't. There's several trips I want to take this year, so it's kind of important to me. This is where uh, computer algorithms kind of fall down, don't they? They don't give the human enough input. Um, I'm not sure why they chose to do it that way, except uh, it's easier. Is it possible to use waypoints and say, you know, kind of plot your way down through Solvang and or up through Solvang in that way? Or, huh. What do you do in New York? So I'm, I'm looking at people in New York. Some of our chat room are, folks are in New York. That's a place where there are multiple ways to get anywhere. And you may, as Mike B says, I like the Tap and Z bridge. <laughs> you may have a bridge that you prefer. How would you, uh, you have to just add waypoints. You have to kind of put, drop, drop dots. Well, it seems like a lot of work. Well, you could say, uh, John's saying the way he does it is he sets a destination on the 101. So he says, I'm going to go to Crescent City. There's no way to get there easily on 5. It's direct shot from 101. It's on the way to Portland. Mm -hmm. So you'd say, that's the only, I think that's the only way to do it, is to trick it and say, well, I don't want to go to Portland, or I want a waypoint in Crescent City, and then it will say, oh, well, if you insist on going to Crescent City, I guess we're going to have to route you on 101. Shame that. I I understand. It just seems odd that you can do it on a desktop in the same app. Well, if you app. think about it, the desktop kind of lends itself to that because it has a mouse. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, you know, um, you can, of course, do it on the desktop and send it to your phone. Send the route to your phone if you prefer to do that. 
But I understand. I wouldn't get live live traffic updates. I don't think. Oh, yeah, I think you still would. I think you're just telling it to take this route. Try that. I mean, I understand, uh, yeah, but this is kind of the way it is, unfortunately, in, in technology is it only goes so far. It can only be so flexible. That's a good, that would be a good request to send to Google. No doubt it's on their list somewhere. <laughs> but uh, All right, well, as, as far else? as anybody can, you know, I'm looking at the chat room. Anybody knows you can call 8888-ASK-LEO, but as far as anybody knows... The only way to do this is they're not such a bad. It's not such a bad trick to say pick intermediate points along the way that would force that. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm going to turn over. Yeah, he sounds disappointed. I think I've let you down. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry.